Syngenta. Hello everybody, my name is Ruud Kaagman and I'm going to tell you something today about a new introduction and innovation of Syngenta. Normally when we talk about innovations, we generally talk about consumer innovations, new colors, new tastes, new smells, everything linked to that. However, there is also a lot of innovation linked to growers. Innovation in relation to resistance against diseases or pests or anything that can harm a grower. And today I want to talk more about resistance to tomato brown rugose fruit virus. And there are a couple of things that I want to share with you. I will start to explain a bit about the tomato brown rugose fruit virus. I will tell a little bit about the journey of Syngenta in screening and finding resistance. And finally, bringing it into a variety, which is the introduction of our variety Lancer. And then I will tell you a bit more about the next steps and some of the points that we shouldn't forget. Now let's talk about tomato brown rugose fruit virus. This virus has a significant impact on growers. Growers can lose up to 70% of their produce due to the virus. The virus is spreading really rapidly and it is very persistent. It has a high impact on growers. It's part of the Tobamo virus family uh, and, and has a significant impact on how the crop is evolving, what the plants look like and what the fruits look like. So the growers can lose a large part of their produce. And this is growers around the world. The disease originated five, six years ago in Israel, Middle East, Jordan, uh, but it is spreading rapidly. It's, it's existing now in IAMI, in Europe, in, in Middle East countries, but also in the Americas, North America, South America, Canada. And it has a significant impact. But it doesn't impact only the growers, it's also impacting the whole industry. Think about plant raisers that have to do everything they can to prevent the virus coming into their glasshouses, to make sure that the virus is not spreading from one uh, young plant to another young plant. Think also about governments. Governments are trying to protect the growers in their countries and they come up with all kinds of rules to make sure that the disease doesn't spread itself in the country. But think also about the seed companies themselves. It's a lot of additional testing in seed production when the seeds are harvested or the fruits are harvested to extract the seeds, to bring the seeds to your, to your factory or your plant where you do your cleaning, treating, uh, but also testing before you can even ship it, uh, ship it to your, your customers around the world. So it has a major impact on the whole industry. But seed companies have been looking for resistances since the existence of the virus. And how does it work? Well, in Syngenta what we have done is we immediately started screening for resistance. So we checked all our commercial hybrids. We checked our lines. We also checked wild germplasm. We were looking at what industries are doing or institutes are doing to see if we can collaborate. And the good thing is we find a lot of variants, variances. What does it mean? It means that we found plants that show resistance. And then the, the actual work starts. We used our technology to identify which genes in the plant give the resistance. And we found several sources of resistance to the tomato brown rugose fruit virus. And what we have done is those resistances, we've tried to bring them into our lines that we use to make hybrids. So we made a lot of crosses and we tried to do that as soon as possible because we know there is a significant need in the industry to have resistance varieties. And that brings me to the introduction of our first resistance variety. So what we developed is in tomato, beef, specifically for Mediterranean countries, we have the first resistant variety. We're going to launch it this year in Israel or Greece, Cyprus and some of the other countries in that area. Because we know in that area, especially Israel, the need is high. Growers are having significant impact from the virus on their produce. 
And with this variety, we're going to make sure that they can continue to produce a good crop with good yields. We claim an inter intermediate resistance level, and that has to do with a couple of reasons. First of all, there is no official protocol to claim high resistance, uh, and there is always the risk in significant pressure that you will see some symptoms on, on the plant. But at least the yield is there. And I can show you a picture of what it looks like. So if you look behind me, you will see on one side Lancer, fresh, healthy crop, healthy fruits, good tomatoes, strong in the head of the tomato so it will continue to produce. While on the other side, you will see a variety that's an existing variety in the market. It's a commonly used variety in the market, but you can see that the variety is under pressure. Uh, the leaves are light, you can see that the virus is in the plant. Uh, it doesn't produce a lot of fruits, and then the fruits itself at the end will not look nice and healthy, and it's hard for a grower to sell these. This is what resistance does. It helps the grower with a kind of security to produce a nice, nice healthy crop again. Now, what are the next steps? For Syngenta, what we aim to do is we have the resistance and we introduce Lancer with one resistance yet, one resistance gene. What we are going to do is we are going to launch new resistant varieties from now on every year into the market. We are going to use the resistance in all the segments that we breed for. Syngenta has more than 20 breeding programs, and in all those 20 breeding programs, eventually we are going to make sure that we have the resistance. But as we have found different sources of resistance, we are going to combine them. We are going to combine the resistances to make sure that we have durable, high resistance for the growers. And why is that so important? If we depend on only one resistance and the virus is mutating, it means that you can lose the resistance. With combination of resistances, uh, you create durable but also high resistance for our growers, so they can continue to produce a healthy crop. Now, what we shouldn't forget, very important, is it's not only the resistance. We need to make sure that we keep strict hygiene measures. We, as seed companies, do that. We continue to monitor in production, treating, cleaning of the seeds, before we send the seeds, we go and continue to monitor that the seeds are clean of the virus. But it also means for the growers that if you have a resistant variety, it's not the end of you know, your hygiene measures. You need to continue with the hygiene measures. Uh, because otherwise, there is the risk that the virus will mutate and it will come back. And that's why it is so incredibly important. So I hope that that I made you enthusiastic about our new introduction, the Lounge of Lancer, the first highly resistant variety. Uh, but I definitely hope that we also overcome the existing virus for us as humans, the COVID, and that next time we can see each other face to face again and have a much better interaction. Thank you for your time and hopefully see you soon. <laughs>